One of the areas that we're really excited about is continuous integration. As part of our new open source stream, we have courses available now that cover Jenkins continuous integration, Apache Maven, and repository managers like Artifactory and Nexus. In this episode, we'll have a quick look at Jenkins continuous integration and integration with Apache Maven. The idea of continuous integration, or CI, isn't really new. As far back as the late 90s, Ken Beck was talking about continuous integration as part of the extreme programming methodology. The idea is simple. When creating software, build the complete target system early and often, and integrate all the work of different developers early and often. When you build the complete system often, you find problems quickly. It's obvious when a code change breaks the build. You don't have a long drawn out integration step after all the new code is finished, and if we do it right, the first real deployment goes smoothly and easily. Continuous integration goes hand in hand with test driven development and automated quality assurance. Basically, the CI system is going to check out a fresh copy of the source from version control, build it, and then run the unit test suite and some basic smoke testing. We can either do that automatically, triggered when code gets checked into the version control, or manually when developers decide they're finished a set of changes. Then, assuming everything passes, the CI system can run more detailed testing and then even install the build on our QA or user testing system. We always have an installable artifact. Plus, the CI system can generate development metrics like test coverage, code standards compliance, and static bug analysis. The typical setup has a Jenkins instance talking to our version control build system and our QA or staging servers. The build system has links to an artifact repository, which also draws artifacts from the corporate or public repositories. As we go on in this series, we'll talk about the build system and the artifact repositories. For now, we'll just focus on Jenkins. Jenkins started out as Hudson. It was developed as a hobby project by Kosuke Kawaguchi while he was working at Sun Microsystems. After Oracle bought Sun, there were some messy disagreements and the community forked the project and changed the name to Jenkins in 2010. The Hudson project is still alive. Oracle ended up donating it to the Eclipse Foundation but the Jenkins project is far more active. Here's the Jenkins console. Let's watch a short demo of creating a job. And then we can tell Jenkins to do a build. It'll check out the source code and run whatever ant or maven commands we want. Okay, let's see just how easy it is to create a new job in Jenkins. From the Jenkins main screen, we're just going to select new job. I'm gonna call this the market manager for reasons which will become clear shortly. That's going to be a Maven 2 or 3 project. We'll hit OK. And we have to tell Jenkins where it's going to find the files. I happen to have this uh, sample project under the Mercurial version control system. So just paste in the um, URL for the repository. And then we'll need to help it to find the palm.xml in this case, it's going to be flea market, oh, I'm going to spell that right, market manager slash palm.xml. And the goals I wanted to build are going to be clean, install, and site. Okay, let's save that. And really all we need to do now is just start up a build. Let's see if that works. We can watch the build as it's happening here. We'll just go to console output. And we can see that uh, we've got a lot of downloads happening. What's going on here is uh, we're actually downloading a lot of um, uh, Maven dependencies.
And there we go, we have build success. If we go back to the project, we see we've got the build is reporting success. We can go take a look at the workspace and even go have a look at uh, the, uh, let's see, the market manager, API. There's target and there's the site. We can take a look at things like the index.html on the site. So there you go, creating a project under Jenkins. Really pretty simple. It's easy to generate development reports. If we're using Maven as the builder, then we just add the reporting section to our project definition, and then we'll configure Jenkins to show the report. Here's a report from the check style tool that tells us we've got some bad style. Actually, it's just telling us we haven't set up our code convention rules, but hopefully you get the idea. Here's a test coverage report. Now I see a lot of red here. It looks like we need to add a few unit tests. I think you'll agree continuous integration is a powerful tool for agile software development. And WebAge is here to get you up to speed quickly so you can streamline your development processes. We have a one-day introduction to Jenkins and three-day courses that include Apache Maven and Artifactory or Nexus. Call your sales rep or check out our website for session dates and places. Thanks a lot for your time. And WebAge is here to get you up to speed quickly. We have a one-day course on Maven and a three-day course that covers Jenkins, Maven, and Nexus. Call your sales rep to get up to speed in a hurry.